What up, the world? Man, listen, right? I'm sitting here looking at my dad's hometown, Alabama. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I ain't know, I ain't know Birmingham was that fucked up. Like, goddamn, my dad from Fonsdale, right by Uniontown with a foot wash at. I ain't know Alabama was getting down like that, my baby. These cut those motherfuckers down there, man. But I guess it's all over the world now, man. These motherfuckers, rappers done turned these country niggas out, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, the country, or to me, when I think about down south, man, I think about hospitality and just all around good people, man. All this violent bullshit, I don't know where that shit come from. Now, I know Birmingham, places like Houston, Texas, Atlanta, St. Louis, you know, these places... St. Louis, the Midwest, but still, these places kind of been scurvy. But when you go down, like, in a deeper south, it was, to me, it was all about love and hospitality, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, shit crazy, though, man. But anyway, let me get to the matter at hand, dog. I'm looking at this shit, and um, I guess my phone, it be old shit coming down. Like, like, I seen some old shit about Charleston White I reported on. That shit was fucking months ago. And I just looked at this T.T. Naughty shit. And it was about a month ago. I didn't know this nigga was out here ratting like that. Like, this nigga done threw his whole career away, man. Like I say, dog, you know, when I first seen that nigga, it was like he talked too much, right? And I knew something was off about him. You know what I'm saying? T.T. Naughty was just like, he was interested. It was funny how when I first seen him, I thought he was a rapper or something. I don't know none of these new ass rappers too much. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of thought he was a rapper. I didn't know what he was. I know he was a shit-talking dude. But then I got to seeing how he got the line a lot, like exaggerating the truth a lot. And I thought he was like somebody at first. I thought this was his podcast. You know what I'm saying? Then come to find out, man, weird shit started going on. His sister turned against him, said the nigga was grave robbing and set niggas up and scurvy and scantlers and this and this and this, got AIDS and all type of shit she went in and it was, he said he. So I'm like, damn, for real? Then the niggas fired him off the podcast and brought him back, fired him again, brought him back. And um, it's crazy how. That mo this motherfucker's always calling somebody else a fucking rat. This nigga calling everybody a rat. This motherfucker such such a rat. He a rat. Look at my paperwork and all. They used to be the rat in this motherfuckers in, on earth. This nigga get caught with a pistol, bro, and tell on every goddamn body. And my man just exposed him. I don't, you know, listen, dog. Like. I'm not a fan of my man. What's the white boy name who be exposing to everybody? Like, expose your motherfucking people, man. I mean, you know, you know, a rat is a rat. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but still, though, bro, god damn, these white motherfuckers ratting too, god damn. Why you just got to put niggas out here? Like, we know half these motherfuckers ain't right. You know what I'm saying? Niggas is making, motherfuckers is making more money off of us than us. I'm so tired of that shit. I don't know what to do, my nigga. Like, I'm looking at these motherfuckers right now. I just said I'm sitting here uh, doing, looking at my, my daddy hometown, Alabama. I'm looking at Georgia. But guess who doing all these motherfucking hood stories? White motherfuckers. Mexican motherfucker. This motherfucker who doing this is Mexican, right? So what he doing is he riding through black neighborhoods telling how fucked up they are, telling how the murder rate is. Nigga, go show some positive shit. God damn, we already know about this negative shit. Go talk to the people around that bitch. Just don't ride around showing fucked up burnt houses. That's how they do my city. That's how I know this is bullshit. See, I'm smart enough to know that this shit right here that he's showing... It's there, but it's garbage. You got to ride around and look for this type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Especially where I'm from. You know, you ride around in any city and try to find where the niggas at. Then you go around and you try to find the most dilapidated shit you can find, videotape it, and talk about it. When it ain't really like that every day. Like, it, it really ain't as bad as it fucking seem. You know what I'm saying? Especially like when you come to Detroit. Yeah, Detroit got its problems, but no, no different than any other major city. Y'all motherfuckers want to make, like, my city just the worst motherfucking place in the world to be in. It ain't. Detroit is on the rise. We got the most beautiful ghetto in the world. I keep saying that. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, back to what I was saying. Back to the TT Naughty. So this nigga get caught with a motherfucking gun. And he he can't, he, this motherfucker tells that he's supposed to took the gun in the club and handed it off to some niggas to kill another motherfucker. 
Like, all you did was catch a fucking simple ass pistol case. Like, nigga. And if you'd have kept your fucking mouth shut, they ain't find a gun out your waistband. You wouldn't fucking driving. That's your word against hers. Like, you know what I'm saying, nigga? Or y'all both would have shut the fuck up and stuck to the G code. A lawyer would have got y'all out of that shit. Or, you know what I'm saying? You want to tell, and for the life of me, I do not understand why do motherfuckers with no license, like some motherfuckers just retarded. Some motherfuckers just ain't got good fucking sense. Why do you know that you aren't supposed to have a gun on you? Why are you in the fucking car with no the wrong tags, no license plate, no license, wrong license plates, no license, smoking weed? Like, what the fuck do you think gonna happen? Like, I just don't get it. I don't understand half these motherfuckers who catch these cases. It's like it's not y'all motherfuckers not even trying to get away. And that's why I be doing so many on niggas. I be like, dog, these motherfuckers don't have any common sense. I mean, it's like, it's nobody thinking no more. It's like, God damn, what happened to just a little bit of common sense and thinking? Y'all motherfuckers committing crimes. And the thing is, it's so easy to snitch. That's why y'all doing it. You know you can tell your way about this shit. It should be illegal for a motherfucker. You supposed to be able to take your weight. The police need to stop that. Do your motherfucking job. The feds want to come in and do something. Stop these motherfuckers from, from having informants. Because that shit shouldn't even be held up in the court of law. Because you want to get out of some shit, you tell them another motherfucker, that should be illegal. They should stop that shit. It shouldn't even be able to do that shit. Motherfucker, do your own motherfucking job. If it weren't for the snitches, these bitches wouldn't, wouldn't solve a goddamn nothing. Facts. If it weren't for a fucking rat, the police wouldn't have a chance. These bitches wouldn't stand a chance on convicting shit. They don't, man, Detroit would never solve a case if it weren't for rats. Never. They would never solve a case. Only how they ever solve a case is these stupid motherfuckers doing it on camera broad daylight. It'll be a lot of that shit going on. But I'm not understanding how you going to, y'all niggas is doing so many fucking crimes with no out. Like, y'all don't even plan on getting away. Like, you're going to be in there knowing you don't supposed to be with a pistol, with a bitch driving, no license, wrong tags, sitting somewhere you don't supposed to be, smoking loud-ass weed out the car, police pull up. God damn, do you damn near make Even if they want to give y'all a pass, they got damn, okay you got, okay, you got wrong place. At least do you got license. No, I don't even got no license. Do you got insurance? I don't got no insurance. God damn, okay, plus you smoking fucking weed. Get out the fucking car. All right, before you even get out the car, they say this dumbass rap motherfucker say, hey, I got a, the pistol in the glove apartment of mine. That's what they say he did. Then all of a sudden, before he even get in the goddamn handcuffs, anything, well, look, I got something to tell y'all. They say that nigga he told on, nigga, he told on the niggas right then and there. He said, look, tonight I suppose, the same night, it wasn't like it was a week or a day. He said, nigga, tonight I supposed to take this gun in the club and hand it to somebody to kill somebody with. T.T. Naughty, man. And a white boy read the whole paperwork and everything. Destroyed this nigga. But you know what? It's a rat world now. I bet we'll see this nigga talking on some show. I bet we'll see this nigga on somebody podcast. And, and, and let's see how many of y'all motherfuckers sit there and watch and see what he got to say. Y'all will watch this rat to the end of the world, but y'all swear y'all hate fucking rats. So it's a proof that this motherfucker rat. But he ain't the only rat, man. This is a rat world, man. It's a rat that y'all, they didn't let out now that y'all know that rat. Niggas celebrating this rat. Rappers going to fuck with this rat. Y'all know who that rat is. The motherfucker was on, t on, on tape for ratting. The nigga's own man turned against him for rapping, for ratting. Nigga, and all these rappers going down there giving a nigga money, celebrating a rat. See, it depends on who the rat is. You know what I'm saying? If you a real killer in the rat, niggas, and you a real... See, that's why I tell these motherfucking kids. I tell kids all the time, dog. Real street niggas don't give a fuck. A real scurvy ass, the, 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 the motherfuckers y'all want to see in the movies, the Cameron type nigga that wasn't paid in full, the Cameron type nigga, oh, those bricks right there, kill his own man for the bricks. The nigga who will go to jail and say, fuck it, I'm telling on everybody, get out and still be out here, that's what type of niggas y'all like. Y'all suck them niggas dick. But if he was a soft-ass nigga or something, y'all y'all, y'all call him all type of rats. 
But in real life, I said Cameron. That's funny I said that because the nigga in real life who Cameron played, that's how it was. Nigga, this nigga was riding around a known rat, but he was a killer. Nobody had called him a rat to his motherfucking face. They say he seen, what's that nigga name? Jim Jones. He said Jim Jones shook his hand, and that nigga was fucking Chrissy. Jim Jones girl. He was fucking Chrissy, nigga fucking her. And Jim Jones was talking all that snitch shit, but when he seen him, he was like, man, it's a pleasure to meet you. You know what I'm saying? They, they bow down to that killer, and that nigga was out here living his best life. He ain't die. Ain't none of them niggas who killed his people. Ain't nobody who he killed people fuck with him. Nobody who caught him a rat said it to his face. Nobody did shit to him. He got killed over a hoe. He got killed over a sucker stroking ass nigga. Ain't no nigga come up and kill him. He's about to live his best life. If he ain't get killed, if he ain't fuck that nigga hoe, he'll still be out here right now. Living his best life, man. Celebrate. Niggas would have been sucking his dick trying to get money back with him. Cause he cause he got a name for himself. That's how the world go though, man. They y'all don't y'all ain't you know, y'all talk that we don't like snitch shit. Y'all a motherfucking lie. Y'all niggas, y'all so flunkied out for a couple of dollars. A nigga come out right now, fresh to death, driving something sweet. Y'all motherfuckers will be right next to him sucking his dick, talking about bragging on a nigga, talking about somewhere to work at. It's a rat world, man. All this fake shit on his internet got these boys fucked up. Like I say, T.T. Nutty probably still out of jail. I don't know. He probably out of jail right now. He probably go, y'all niggas will watch this nigga to the end. Nigga like me, I can't get 100 views. Crazy, man. Crazy how the world go. But that's how it is out here. You know what I'm saying? That's a shame. I knew the boy had a mental problem. You know, he need help, but shit, he, he done went too far. Then you got a nigga like Crip Mac in jail. Stand up nigga all the way around. I good, you know what I'm saying? He a good example for the culture. You know what I'm saying? He do positive shit. He a negative, he in a negative environment doing positive shit. Crip Mac ain't never said nothing about no um Crip Mac ain't never said nothing about no um, shooting no guns. He always said, look, I, I take a fade. He ain't never geeked up violence or show guns on TV like the rest of these niggas. He ain't never did none of that shit. But they want to get this nigga 10, 15 years, take him off the street. But a rat like this motherfucker right here probably out of jail right now, man. I just don't understand it, man. These people know what they doing. They destroying us, man. And we destroying ourselves out here with that mental ill ass shit. You know what I'm saying? T.T. Naughty had a whole future ahead of himself. Boy, he done fucked himself in everywhere he could. Them drugs and that mental illness, man, he needed help a long time ago, dog. Somebody, he can't, it, it, his future ain't looking bright, my dog. That's all I got to say. But who knows? Like I say, the way the world go now, man, it's a rat world, boy. He might end up be the nigga that win. You know what I'm saying? Trap Talk Blue.